Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to restore a Trezor device using your backup phrase. So let's get started. All right, so a Trezor is a hardware device that stores the private key of your cryptocurrency wallet. It's a great device for a secure and safe way to store your cryptocurrency. But what happens if the device is damaged, lost, or stolen? Now, a lot of people worry about this. They think that everything is contained on the device and that if the device is somehow damaged, lost, or stolen, they're going to lose their crypto. Well, that's not really how the device works. Your cryptocurrency is stored on blockchains, and your device is merely the keychain that can unlock and access those wallets on the blockchain. So the device is like the keys to your car. If you lose the keys to the car, you can't start the car. But you might have a backup set somewhere in your house. Now, the Trezor is very similar in that sense, that you should have a backup set of keys laying around. And that is your recovery phrase, the one that you write down on your recovery card when you first set up the device. This card contains the key that is normally stored on the device. I know it sounds strange, but these 12 words are a mathematical code that can be entered into a new device. And by doing that, your new device becomes a duplicate of your original device. I know it's all kind of strange, but I'm going to walk you through it. It's not that difficult. And I'll take you through step by step so that you can regain access to the crypto that you had on your lost device. Now, the first thing you'll need is the recovery card that has the 12 words written down on it. Find that and uh, get it ready. And we're going to connect our new device. Now, in the case of a lost, stolen, or damaged device, you might just have to go out and purchase a new device, right? Or if you're a meticulous type like me, you may have uh, an, a backup device just laying around waiting to get set up. So it's always a good idea to have backups on hand in case you need them. I happen to have a spare device, which I'm going to use during this restore, and I'll walk you through the process. All right, so here's our Trezor device. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Now, I have opened this one previously. So if you are uh, opening up a brand new device, you'll want to confirm that the, there is a hologram seal over the connector. Uh, I've already removed mine, but if you have purchased a brand new device, you'll always want to confirm that. All right, so uh, here's the device, and we're going to get started on the restore. All right, so in order to get started, we'll go ahead and launch our Trezor Suite. Now, if you had a previous device, you've already got the Trezor Suite installed on your computer. So we'll go ahead and just launch it as if we had our original device, right? Uh, and if it asks you for an update, you should always go ahead and get updated. It's a good idea to keep your software up to date so that it takes advantage of all the latest security features and all of the latest functionality. All right, so I'll go ahead and restart and update. All right, it only takes a less than a minute, really, to get it taken care of. Now here's the point where we're going to connect our device. So of course, it, you would normally connect your go-to device at this point. But since you don't have that device, we'll go ahead and connect that brand new device. All right, so we'll just go ahead and plug in our cable. And since it's a brand new device, it doesn't have a pin set up. So it just tells us to go to the Trezor website. But in our case, we'll just go over to our Trezor suite. So it's asking us to go through the setup procedure because it is determined that this is a brand new Trezor device. So we'll just uh, click Setup Trezor. Uh, it's also determined that the device does not have the latest firmware. So let's go ahead and take care of that. This can be a little tricky, so I'll walk you through this also. You're going to disconnect your device, and then you'll just kind of run your thumb up and down it as you're reconnecting it, and that should launch the firmware updater. We'll go ahead and disconnect and just run your thumb up and down, back and forth as you're connecting it. 
All right, and you can see there that it's uh, asking me to go ahead and connect uh, to the firmware updater. So I'll tap this little plus. All right, it's detected that the device is ready, so we'll click Install Firmware. And then we need to confirm on the device. All right, so we'll just hit the little check mark there. And uh, we're off to the races. You'll see this little progress uh, bar going around in a circle. We'll just keep an eye on that until it's completely finished. All right, and there it goes. It's done uh, installing the firmware update. The device is going to restart. And we'll be back at this welcome screen. All right, so we've successfully installed the latest firmware. We'll hit continue. And now we get to this screen. So because it's a brand new device, the Trezor Suite wants to know whether we're creating a brand new wallet or we are recovering a previous wallet. All right, so in today's case, we're gonna do the recover wallet and make sure you've got your seed ready. All right, and we'll just click start recovery. All right, and then we'll need to confirm on the device. All right, so it's asking if we would like to recover a wallet. So we'll say yes on this. We need to choose the number of words in our recovery phrase. All right, in my case, I used a 24 word recovery phrase. So I'm gonna tap 24. And then it asks me to enter the seed. All right, so we're just gonna need to type out the words. We've got uh, a little keypad here that we can use. So if you remember how the old cell phones used to work, uh, if you want the letter A, you tap once. If you want the letter B, you tap twice quickly. And if you need the letter C, you tap three times. The same with the rest of the keypads. My first word starts with an A, so I'll tap uh, this key once and it shows me all the words that start with A. All right, now I need the second letter, which in my case is an L, so I'm gonna need to tap this key three times. All right, so I get my L. My word still hasn't shown up at the top, so I'll choose my third letter, and my third letter starts with a C, so I'm gonna need to tap the ABC key three times. All right, now my word has shown up, right? That's my word, so I can just tap on the word to complete. All right, you can see that it lights up in green. And then it asks me for the second word of my 12. So I'm going to continue through and do this. Uh, you want to be very careful as you're doing this. Make sure that your word is correct before you tap it that last time, or you'll need to start over again. All right, now if you make a mistake and uh, you start to get into a word that's uh, misspelled or anything like that, uh, you can hit this back arrow. It'll take you back to the top level and just uh, whatever word you happen to be on. So if you were typing in word number eight and you made a typo, you can always back out to this and start over with that one word. Now, if you're typing a longer word and the three letter word uh, gives you the green check mark, all you have to do is continue to add letters. So in this case, it has uh, offered me the option of confirming the word add, but my word is longer than that. So uh, I'm going to connect, I'm going to tap one more letter. Right, and now you can see that my longer word has appeared and I can tap that. And confirm. All right, and just move on to the next word and continue on that way. Okay, and when you get to that last word uh, and you have it typed in, you can tap on it. All right, and then just go ahead and confirm. And it tells you that we've successfully recovered the wallet. So we'll hit continue. So we've uh, entered the phrase and we'll hit continue. And now it wants us to set the pin. So we'll go ahead and click set pin. 
and then uh, we'll go back over to the device and uh, set up a, a pin. Now, it does not have to be the same pin you used the first time, right? Uh, it has restored all of the wallets, but the configuration is different. So you don't have to use the exact same pin you used the last time. If you want to use a different pin, that's fine. If you want to continue to use the same pin, just uh, re-enter it. All right, so I'll hit the uh, plus here. All right, so all I have to do is just enter a uh, pin that I want to use. And it wants you to re-enter the pin to confirm. All right, and after you've entered the pin twice, you should get a message telling you you've successfully set up the pin. From here, we can click Continue. And you'll be back at the uh, Ready screen, right? The device is ready to go. Let's go back over to our uh, screen here. All right, it's indicating that the pin is set. We'll hit Continue. Notice here that it sees coins that are already on there. Uh, I had Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano on there. All right, and they're already checked. So uh, I'll just go ahead and complete setup and then choose Access Suite. All right, the, mine is a standard wallet, so I'll hit no passphrase. All right, now it wants me to confirm on the Trezor I had changed the name of one of my accounts, uh, so I need to enable labeling. I, I always did this before as well. All right, and once you've done that, you should see your uh, portfolio pull back up again, and then you have access to all of your coins that you had on your other device. So that's all there is to it. All you have to do is get a new device, connect it, and run through the restore process using your backup phrase, and you'll have uh, access all, to all of your crypto. So don't worry. Whenever uh, you know, you're know you working with this device and something happens, you lose it, you misplace it, you damage it, uh, you're always fine as long as you have that backup phrase. And if you want to be extra careful, it might uh, behoove you to just have uh, an extra device laying around the house in case of emergencies, right? because you might be in the middle of something and you want to get access to your crypto as quick as possible. Always a good idea to have another device handy in case you need it in a pinch. All right, so if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.